Cord and I have been living off grid for over three years now and I couldn't imagine living any other way. Being self-reliant means that I have the control over when and how we power our home. Recently, my parents came home to a completely flooded yard and it was a great reminder that we are all at the mercy of mother nature. Power outages are a very normal occurrence in their town and I wanted to do something about that. So in this video, we're gonna be installing a DIY friendly plug and play complete home backup system from EcoFlow. This is their current home backup system. This generator can't power their well pump or boiler, which means they lose the ability to have running water and heat the house. It also means they have to be home when the power goes out to get the generator fired up, and they have to listen to a generator until the power comes back on. We're going to replace this system with the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra and Smart Home Panel 2. Together, this new system will be able to power their entire home, including the well pump, and it will automatically turn on even when they're not home. I cannot wait to see how this all works, so let's get started. In theory, this is everything that we need to add a complete home backup system to my parents' house. This is a 7,200 watt, 240 split phase inverter. So this can do 240 volt or 110 volt like we use here in the US, meaning that this is capable of powering every single circuit in this home, including the 240 volt well pump. Oh, it can output 12 volt? That's cool. Do you feel like you're playing the prices right? <laughs> What's behind door number three? Hey, listen, the big deal is worth $9,260, and it could be behind door number one, two, or three. I have had the opportunity to use and test a lot of portable power stations, and to me, this feels like a portable power station, but on steroids with even more features. This unit doesn't have a battery in it at all, so the next step is to check out the batteries. I already know from unloading this battery from the truck that it's heavy, so before I pull it out of the box, I'm gonna assemble the wheelie tray that it rides on. <laughs> All right, let's get this battery installed. Nice. I think the next step is to get this unit working, so we're gonna hook the inverter box to the battery. I think this cord must be the cord that Connects the two. And how do you... Oh, that's pretty clever. So now the unused ports can stay covered. We're gonna be setting my parents up with one six kilowatt hour battery, but their stackable design allows up to 90 kilowatt hours of storage. And that can mean up to 30 days of conservative energy use for the typical American household. And this is what turns the Delta Pro Ultra into a complete home backup system. And instructions. I need those. <laughs> I think I probably should follow these instructions. I can't help myself. I just pushed every button on the whole thing. This is like the nicest electrical panel I have ever looked inside. How many electrical panels have you looked inside? Less than 100, more than 50. Our plan is to install this as a sub panel right here. EcoFlow recommends this step be done by a licensed electrician. I am not a licensed electrician, so stand by. All right. Now that the Smart Home Panel 2 is installed, let's check it out. So this is how this works. Our grid power still comes into our main panel where most of the home circuits still exist. From here, there's a circuit breaker and we transfer 100 amps into the Smart Home Panel 2. The Smart Home Panel 2 is the hub that allows us to integrate the entire home into the EcoFlow portable products like the Delta Pro Ultra or also the Delta Pro. We've identified five critical circuits in this home that we'd like to make sure are powered even when the power is out. And those include the well pump, the internet, the TV, the boiler, and the fridge. A feature that I noticed right off the bat that I think is really cool is that this EcoFlow panel just uses standard circuit breakers. So we were able to reuse all of the breakers out of our existing main panel when we remove those circuits and just swap them over to the EcoFlow panel. My parents should be home any minute and I wanna make sure that we get the power back on before they arrive. So without further ado, let's get things powered up. Step one is to turn the grid power on to the sub panel. Oh, I heard a click. It sees that the grid is connected. Step two is to connect to the app. It looks like the first step is to just tell it what every circuit is. So for example, the well pump is a 240 volt circuit while the boiler is a 120 volt circuit. Launching like a rocket ship. Look at that guy with his pencil rocket ship. Woohoo! I realized during the setup process that in order to set this up, we needed the internet, but the internet was on one of the circuits that I put as a critical load, which meant we had to get 
a little creative to get power back to the internet so that we could finish setting up the Smart Home 2 panel. This should be a one-time thing, and now I'm pretty sure that if I flip this breaker, we're gonna have power back in the garage. Three, two, one. Step two is to turn the circuits on in the app. On. Ah! It, worked. <laughs> it worked! Oh my Yes! Gosh. Oh man, I love it when things work like they're supposed. This is a really cool feature that I didn't really expect, which is that beyond being a backup system, it's also just a home monitoring system. And I can see that circuit one and three, which is the well pump, is drawing 2,600 watts right now. That's it for the Smart Home Panel 2 install. I cannot wait until we can come back tomorrow and get the Delta Pro Ultra hooked up and have this home running off grid. Now it's time for the part that I'm most excited about, which is turning the Delta Pro Ultra on for the first time. I think all we have to do is press this button. All right, it lit up. I think that's really it. It showed up, I took it out of the box, I plugged the battery in and I turned it on. It's ready to go. What should we power first? Test number one, can it power the skill saw rated at 13 amps? These are 20 amp outlets, so it should be able to do it with no problem. That was smooth. It's super smooth. Didn't that seem smoother than normal? Now that we've tried the skill saw, let's try the vacuum cleaner. Now we're gonna try turning the saw on with the vacuum on. No problem. And the final test, a 1500 watt space heater combined with the shop vac and the power saw. Oh, I'm not surprised that it can power all of these items at once. With the 7200 watt output spec, it should be able to power all of these. What I am surprised and impressed by is how smooth it was able to start the skill saw even under a pretty high load. I'm really happy with our first test of the Delta Pro Ultra, but I wanna fully max it out. And so we're gonna use this electric truck to test that. In theory, this electric truck should be charging at 7,500 watts, which is gonna max out this Delta Pro Ultra using the 240 volt 30 amp plug. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this. It's charging. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. <laughs> 7,437 watts, which is more than the rated output capacity of this Delta Pro Ultra, and it's still doing it. We're not gonna make a habit of overstressing this device, but I do think it was a really good test to see what its capabilities and its output were. This Delta Pro Ultra is an amazing portable power station, but that's not the goal today. The goal today is to provide backup power to my parents' house in the event of a power outage. So let's go see how it integrates into the Smart Home Panel 2. Beep, beep, coming through. All right, this plugs in here. Are you excited? I'm very excited about this step because this is what makes this unit so unique is that it can both be a portable power station and a complete home backup system. And we're about to get to test the home backup system part. In theory, when I plug this cable into the Smart Home Panel 2, the Delta Pro Ultra should start charging. Click. We are charging. Cool. It's charging and because it can charge at 240 volts, we're able to get 3,600 watts of charge speed, which is really, really fast. So it should be fully charged in just two hours. Whoa, really? Yeah. The grid isn't the only way that we can charge the system. It also has two separate solar inputs that combine give it a 5.6 kilowatts of solar. Another great way to charge the Delta Pro Ultra during an extended power outage is using a 12,000 watt generator, which integrates into the transfer switch in the smart home panel too. This unit is capable of 7.2 kilowatts of output, which is more than enough to power my parents' entire home. But if you were trying to power a much larger home, multiple air conditioners, a large workshop, you can stack up to three of these units in parallel to get up to 21.6 kilowatts of output. And because this unit is capable of 120 and 240 volt output, that means that it can power all home equipment, including up to three ton air conditioners and things like my parents' well pump. Now is the part that I am the most excited about, which is testing this thing in a real power outage situation. 
So step one is let's go crash the car through the transformer out on the street and turn the power off to the entire neighborhood. <laughs> Why didn't you follow me? I didn't know how to enable you. <laughs> Okay, maybe there's an easier way to turn the power off to the house, which is to turn the breaker off inside of the main panel. I've gone ahead and I've set up our five circuits, which include the well pump, the refrigerator, the living room, the boiler, and the internet. They advertise a 20 millisecond changeover, which means that when I turn this off, it should take 20 milliseconds before the Delta Pro Ultra kicks on and starts powering the garage. Here we go. Turning the power to the entire house off. Whoa. Whoa. That was ridiculously fast. I barely even noticed the outlets or the lights turn off. This home is now running off grid off of the Delta Pro Ultra. Currently this house is using 173 watts, which at this rate means that we have an entire day of backup power off just one battery. Let's head inside and see how everything's working. <laughs> the Christmas tree is still on because it's plugged in where the TV plugs in. Let's test our first critical load, the TV. You know, I felt a little silly when I was setting the TV up as one of the critical loads, but a lot of times the power goes out at night during cold, dark weather, and that's probably the time when I want to be watching the TV. It works. Next up, let's check the fridge. Fridge works. Next up, let's check the well pump. Still have water. Hey, Barley. This is my parents' dog, Barley. He went in yesterday for foot surgery where they planned on removing a toe. So Barley, how many toes do you still have? Yep, all five. He still has all five of his toes. We're calling these five circuits our critical loads, but when it comes down to it, the well pump is a lot more important than the television. And as we run the battery levels down in the Delta Pro Ultra, the TV starts becoming a lot less important, especially during an extended power outage. So I can go into the app, I can get a list of those circuits, and I can tell it which circuits are the most important versus which ones are just the want to haves like the TV and the Christmas lights. I'm gonna move the TV over from being a must supply to a conditional supply. Then I can set that condition, which is a battery level percentage, and I'm gonna set that to 80%, which means that when our battery gets down to 80%, it's gonna automatically turn off the TV circuit, but keep all the other circuits running. And this is gonna help us conserve power during extended outages. In theory now, as our battery draws down to 85%, the TV's gonna turn off. <laughs> it totally worked. It turned the TV off when we got down to 85%. That is so cool. I am so thankful to have this opportunity to be able to set up this complete home backup system for my parents' house. No matter what happens out on the grid, my parents can be confident in knowing that they have the capability of powering their own home. So far, I've been very impressed with the quality of the components, the user interface on the app, and all of the really clever features that they've come up with that make this system ideal for backing up a home. Thanks again to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. Head to the link in the description below and use this code to get $1,000 off the Delta Pro Ultra and related bundles. And I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but we are all looking forward to the power going out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.